Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Uh, this is going to be a short little Sunday night show, you know, and uh, I, the Bitcoin's taken a little bit of uh, a little bit of a decline in price today, you know, and, and maybe you guys are a little bit upset. You think, hey, you know what, Bitcoin, and you and you're still hearing this news from a lot of these bears who are saying it's going to go down, setting glows, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think so at this point, at this stage in the game. And this is just normal price action, what we're seeing this afternoon, this Sunday afternoon. Probably later this week it'll bounce back a little bit. Uh, but this is normal. Uh, this is what I call going along sideways, basically. You know, and this is normal price action for Bitcoin going sideways. After this momentous, huge, big, gigantic rally we had in Bitcoin, it took us up from the 3000 all the way up to almost nine nine thousand dollars. Yes, it has settled back a little bit to around seventy five hundred. Let's get the charts open and let's take a look at what's going on. And Bitcoin, yes, it settled back to uh, right now. Let's see, seventy five forty. Let me refresh the page. Seventy six twenty three. So so it's moving up a little bit now. Uh, this afternoon, let's take a look at cryptocurrency market capitalizations. 244.5 billion Bitcoin dominance 55.8 percent and we do see the downward movement in all of these coins across the board Litecoin has stayed strong though Litecoin is still hundred and fifteen dollars and the reason for that is I truly believe that Litecoin is going to be the number two coin next to Bitcoin I think it's actually going to beat out the market cap of XRP and Ethereum and I think it's going to beat out XRP first and see XRP there's two things I really don't like about XRP one is the fact that XRP has 50 billion being held in the wings 50 billion of them the second thing I don't like about XRP is the fact that it's totally reliant on the banks the banks are gonna have to use it you know for money transfers and stuff like that the big question mark is will they now Litecoin, it doesn't stand on any of those have to happen sort of things, you know. Litecoin has got a tremendously powerful, big community behind it, and Litecoin is positioning itself to move up in the in these in the coin rankings, and it's only number four right now. That's why I'm excited about Litecoin. I think it's a great coin, you know, and I think that percentage-wise. Litecoin has a very much a possibility of actually, like if you buy Bitcoin and you buy Litecoin, Litecoin has a strong possibility of outperforming Bitcoin over the upcoming months, you know, and, and years even. So this is what we see happening in the coins this afternoon. Uh, let's take a look at this Bitcoin chart right here. And uh, if we focus in, let, let me see, let me focus in a little bit. Uh, on what we got going on here. Uh, what's this buy now business? Okay, fo uh, I don't know how to get that off, but anyway, what you can see is normal price action all the way up here, and you see it, it it's going along sideways. And I predicted this peak right here. This little peak right here, I predicted that it was going to, I said right then, that's when I said, hey, you know, it's going to go sideways. Well, look. Over the last number of days, it's went perfectly sideways, basically, you know. And uh, I predicted two to three months of sideways action, and that was about, I guess, a couple weeks ago, you know. Oh, when, when exactly was that? That was uh, mm, uh, the fifteenth of last month. So, so we're already seeing uh, uh, more than almost three weeks, you know, into the sideways action. And then I expect the next leg up. Now, you know, an awful lot of people out there talk about cryptocurrencies and they talk about uh, how how high will Bitcoin go. And I was on a site tonight, you know, and, and the guy says, hey, you know what? Uh, $10 million is the end game for Bitcoin. And, you know, I'm not shocked by those prices, but I know at the same time you cannot set a price in dollars for what bit what bitcoins worth all those price estimates a million dollars 10 million a hundred million all those price estimates are going to be out the window because once Bitcoin gets up past say five hundred thousand dollars a piece 
which is coming by the way I don't believe it's going to come in this particular a big shot up in price what we see happening right now I don't predict it's going to happen in this I think we're going to shoot up to like a hundred thousand this time or sixty thousand or eighty thousand or wherever it stops and that's going to fall again it's going to be in the one after that or the following one after that that it hits like five hundred thousand dollars but once it passes five hundred thousand dollars the US dollar is going to go into its death throes and the US dollar when it Bitcoin is still going to be moving upwards in price and the US dollar is not going to be around anymore to price Bitcoin in so you're gonna to have to price it in something else so for the sake of argument right here I'm gonna give you my price prediction but I'm not gonna price Bitcoin in dollars because that's just silly because the dollar won't be there a bazillion a bazillion dollars I mean because the dollar will be gone you know by then and they will have replaced the dollar they're gonna replace the dollar with a new dollar I'm not even gonna try to price bitcoins in the new dollars because the new dollars aren't even here yet but I'll tell you what the new dollars are gonna be they're going to be uh, cryptographic not necessarily blockchain but cryptographic let me cryptographic very likely it'll be blockchain and the government that issues them is going to have the blockchain on their computer so that they have a total record of of n not only who owns what coins but who bought them and, and there's just distribution of them and and uh, they're gonna have a, a total record they're not gonna do it the way that it's done now where, where you can have any address you want they're gonna set it up so that they they can track the money that's what they're gonna do with the new dollar and it's very likely too that they're not gonna make a cash form of this new dollar it's only gonna be digital all of it digital no cash so this this new dollar that's coming along they've talked a lot about fed coin well they'll probably just call it the dollar but they're probably going to, too, and a second thing they're going to do to combat Bitcoin, they're probably going to uh, have this dollar pegged to gold again. It's probably the way they're going to go. They're probably going to peg it to gold. And, of course, an awful lot of detractors from this say, well, there's not enough gold. Yes, <laughs> there, if you price it one ounce to the dollar, there wouldn't be enough gold sure well, everybody knows that but it's probably going to be these new dollars are probably going to be a minute tiny amount of gold they're going to have to fractionalize the gold down to match the currency supply so so what that means is it means a dollar is not going to be worth like an ounce of gold a dollar is going to be worth like one hundred thousandth of an ounce of gold you know it's going to be like a tiny little tiny fraction of, of, a, of an ounce of gold per each dollar you know but redeemable in gold and that's what's going to give these new dollars value is a gold backing uh, all the all the currencies on earth are moving in this direction and this is why the central banks now are hoarding up gold uh, we have went into a period now where, where, where gold's going to turn pretty soon but I say pretty soon gold's going to turn in price pretty soon not right away it could actually drift downwards in price a little bit more and the reason being is the deflationary pressures from this recession that's coming but once once they react to the recession once the Federal Reserve reacts and they actually go back to accommodative monetary policy which right now they're not in right now they're in the opposite of that they're in quantitative tightening once they react and they change directions then we're gonna see uh, gold take off you know but it's a little ways out yet for gold Bitcoin is already taken off and you know so you wanted my price prediction I gotta get down to the nitty-gritty of it and give you guys my price prediction now one Bitcoin I believe and when it gets to its final destination where it's going I believe that one Bitcoin will buy you 
100 homes. I'm going to price it in houses, but I'm not going to price it in dollars. And the reason why I'm not pricing it in dollars is because the dollars won't be around anymore. Okay, price it in houses. One Bitcoin will buy you 100 houses. Not crappy houses either. I'm talking about nice houses. <laughs> That's the worth of one Bitcoin <laughs> when we get to our final destination. So you want to know, if you got one one hundredth of a Bitcoin right now, you'll be able to buy yourself a brand new home. Now, you know right now you can work your entire lifetime and not be able to afford a new home. <laughs> That's how much Bitcoin is going to be worth in the end. I'm pricing it in houses. Anyway, listen, thank you guys for listening. And hey, I did make the 10 minutes. What do you know about that? And we'll see you guys in the next show. And uh, let's see, probably tomorrow, Monday. Uh, and, uh, and Remember, if you're, if you're not logged in, if you haven't got a subscription to my other site, just put in Financial Turmoil Explained. You won't get halfway through turmoil. Just put in financial and you'll put in the T in the next word. And you'll see you'll see financial turmoil explained. Uh, put it in the YouTube search engine. Hit it. Go in there and subscribe to my other channel too, you know. I give great reports every morning on, on all the stuff that's happening in the, in the financial scene, you know. Right now the big thing is, is the big thing that could go down this week. It could go down this week is Deutsche Bank watching it very carefully but this week it it, it could slip uh, the Deutsche Bank stocks extremely low and there's nobody out there to save them nobody even talking about saving them you get a huge financial book huge derivatives book uh, even if these derivatives most of them cancel each other out still probably 50 to 100 billion dollar black hole in the financial system that's going to be spread to other banks uh, the contagion uh, the, you know I mean this could go this week and uh, which way will that move Bitcoin if, if Deutsche Bank goes down I'm not exactly sure they might actually run to Bitcoin you know uh, gold and silver same thing it but at the same time they could actually panic and sell it's just exactly hard to know which way they will turn. Generally, these type of assets, so Bitcoin, gold, silver, generally they these are assets that can do well in deflation as well as in as well as inflation. They can do good in both inflation and in deflation. They can do well in both, but primarily they do better if you have inflation. And the outlook ahead for the economy in the next few months and years is definitely inflation. And this is going to be rocket fuel for gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. Thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next show. Bye-bye.